All right, Steve Weiss of Short Hills Capital joins us now. Uh, you got out of Netflix in November. W what'd you see then? You know, I saw what uh, went from one of the more hated stocks uh, to one of the most loved stocks. Seems like everybody and their whole entire household came out and said, we love Netflix, we got to buy it. And if you go through the market and when you see those stories start to start to materialize, then there's no there, there's no marginal buyer left. And the expectations have really rocketed it up. So for companies to meet those expectations, particularly Netflix, which has had a, a jaded history of reporting quarters, one quarter they report like they did the last quarter, mm -hmm. it comes in better, and you expect that to continue. And that's not always the case. And this is the market where you have to take profits. Well, let, so let me ask you that. That, that. That's where I wanted to go next. This is a market where you have to take profits. Where can I raise some cash? That was the question that Bill Baruch raised. Uh, yeah. is, is it time? Because a lot of stocks have rallied a tremendous amount from the mid-October lows. Is it time to do some little line-by-line -line checking in your portfolio to see which ones have done the best and get out of those? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Unless you intend on holding those for years and years to come, which I do with some of my positions, but less of them, uh, I think now's when you got to ring the hash register. Look, everybody's looking for a year-end rally. I've sort of cooled on that a little bit, given what the market's told us. So I think where you have profits, take them. Look at Microsoft. You can buy it back down. I'm pretty sure I can get Microsoft back down around 220 again and then ride it back up. Netflix, I should be able to get that a lot lower as well. So, yeah, take profits where you can, absolutely. Is that, is that where you would look? I mean, in some of these tech stocks have done, uh, you know, a fair amount from the, the mid-October lows. But there are so many sectors that you've seen a lot of stocks run uh, an awful lot. I mean, you really have to do some good combing through your portfolio to find some of these things to get out of. And then take the risk, though, as you said, Steve, of missing a year-end rally, which a lot of folks think can still happen. Yeah, and, and the calendar still has 31 days in it. So that's growing shorter and shorter for the rally. We've had a big move to now uh, through November. I just don't think it's going to continue. If it does continue, frankly, it's going to be a small kind of muted rally because we've seen most of the fat of that rally. And then if you go to next year, I'm very negative on the first quarter, definitely maybe the second quarter. So rather than trying to time it with precision, take the profits when you have them rather than being piggish about it. At least sell some of it. Maybe you don't want to sell the whole position, but take, take some off the table. All right. All right. Good stuff, Weiss. Thank you. It's good to see no you. That's Steve Weiss, Short Hills Capital.